We're going to have a look at how to immunize your system from threats using Spybot Search and Destroy. So if you double click on the S&D Start Center, that will open up and we can see on the second one down our immunization status. So it looks like you haven't used immunization yet. We recommend that you do so to easily block, block some common threats. So if we click on the immunize button on the Start Center, it will open up the immunization tool. and. The first time it comes up, it will ask how would you like to immunize. So you can do a pre-selection of what to immunize here. No matter what you choose, you can change what to include or not include in the main window as well. So you can either customize the selection or use full immunization. I would always select full immunization because that provides for the maximum protection on the system. So once you click full immunization, it will start testing your immunization status so at the moment you can see it's looking at internet explorer and it's changing some settings to secure the internet explorer browser from common threats to avoid you getting malware in the first place and it will go through all the various settings to do with different domains that wouldn't be appropriate that could cause problems and if you have other browsers installed for example chrome or opera it will actually go through all of these browsers but it will only immunize you for software that you have installed on the system so it won't unnecessarily start trying to tweak Opera if you've not got it installed it will only do what is necessary for your system as well as doing um, several window settings to stop them being changed um, by malicious software so the immunization check here is finished it's done its scan and it's found that we've got no immunization of 206,474 entries sorry are already immunized that's how many are unprotected this is 206,474 ways that your computer can be compromised this is a fairly basic setup with only edge installed on the system which used to be Internet Explorer so you can see there are a lot of things to ensure that you are protected against so at the top we can see it says immunization it looks like you haven't immunized yet we recommend you do so to easily block some common threats this will not affect the way your system works at all so we're going to click apply immunization it's now actually immunizing the system so just like a vaccine it's going to stop us getting threats that it's found where our system security is weak there is no outward sign that this has happened. It doesn't slow down your system. So it is certainly worth doing. And in many cases, it can prevent the malware even coming onto your system, which then prevents you having to scan and remove it, prevents the loss of any information, uh, prevents any spyware or adware or keyloggers or any other um software like that from getting onto your system in the first place and prevention is so much better than cure so it is much better to get this sorted as soon as you've installed it spy bot and as soon as you have done the initial configuration including creating the trust list if appropriate if you haven't had a look at our video on that already do check that one out just so you know when it is appropriate to create a trust list but unlike Trustless, immunizing the system is appropriate for all users. Every single user after you have configured Spybot should be going straight to immunization even before you perform a system scan because whilst immunization is not done, the door is still open to other malware. So there is no point removing malware whilst it has still got many doors into our system. There was over 200,000 here on a very basic setup. And once the immunization is complete, you will get a confirmation message in the second box saying the system's immunized, all 206,474 entries are now immunized. If there was any problems immunizing a program, for example, it's a web browser and it is already open, you might be asked to close that program and it will say they're still vulnerable. And in that case, what you can do is you can press the reapply immunization if any have failed to ensure that the system is fully immunized. The status message at the top will turn to green. Immunization, if you're using immunize, it looks like you're using immunization regularly. Congratulations, we've done all we need to do. And it is important that this is regularly done. So anytime we need to do it, or if there is any failed checks, if you click the reapply immunization button, it will simply go through the process again. It will check all the current immunizations are in place, and it will also add any new ones. 
when you do updates to Spybot, there will be new threats that are found and new fixes for those. So even if you have previously fully immunized your system, it is best to check this on a weekly basis um, to ensure that your system is fully protected. Hope that helps. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more videos on Spybot Search and Destroy.